It's Monday, February 6th, and here's today's local news. Congratulations to Lake County Teacher of the Year, Jessica Noblin, a fifth grade teacher at Leesburg Elementary. Jessica has been a teacher at Leesburg Elementary since 2007. She is currently the math and science grade level chair and has been a first, third, and fourth grade teacher at Leesburg Elementary. In addition to being in a classroom, Noblin has also worked as the math instructional coach and curriculum resource teacher, helping her fellow teachers with the necessary guidelines provided by the state. Along with the title, Jessica walked away with the grand prize of a 2023 Hyundai Elantra from Jenkins Auto Group. A major shift in traffic is taking place on U.S. Highway 27 and 441 in Lady Lake as the remaining overpass bridge is being demolished. Law enforcement officers are warning motorists to pay close attention to traffic patterns and obey the speed limit. Construction of the roadway section from Griffin View Drive to Lake Ella Road is projected to be complete in the summer of 2023, and the projected completion date of the roadway section from Griffin View Drive to West Hermosa Street is this fall. The new intersection on County Road 25 is expected to open to traffic in late 2023. The Lake County Office of Visit Lake will host a virtual application learning session for the Lake County Tourist Development Council Capital Projects Funding Program at 9 a.m. on Monday, February 13th via Zoom. Email visitlake at lakecountyfl.com for the meeting link and information. The purpose of the program, which is funded by the Lake County Tourist Development Tax, is to allow organizations to apply for funds for eligible capital projects that are in Lake County publicly owned and operated, open to the public for recreational activities, cultural events, and performances, and bring substantial numbers of visitors to Lake County, thereby promoting overnight stays. Applications are due by 4 p.m. on Friday, March 10th. Claremont City officials announced Friday that the award-winning Salt Shack has leased a lakefront restaurant space and plans to open a Caribbean-themed fine dining restaurant. Salt Shack's founders said they are excited to bring the rustic refined eatery featuring fresh seafood, seasonal cuisine, and tropical cocktails to Claremont's lakefront. They plan to work swiftly and hope to open within a few months. A nurse was attacked by an impatient man waiting for treatment at the emergency room at UF Health Leesburg Hospital. A Leesburg police officer was dispatched early Tuesday morning to the hospital when a security guard requested that a man be trespassed from the premises due to unruly behavior. A male nurse told the officer that the man was not a patient but was on a waiting list. He explained that the man had been screaming and demanding to call 911. The nurse told him that he would be transferred to a quiet room. He said he wanted to stay there and get help. He stood up and punched the nurse on the left side of his face. The officer subdued him and placed him under arrest for battery to a health care provider. As he was being placed into the patrol car, he spontaneously said, I hit him because I wanted to feel safe. Just a reminder, the Q's Meet, Greet and Eat is tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. at San Jose's in Leesburg. Bring your own wallet, bring your own appetite, and bring a friend or two or three. We hope to see you all there. For more news and events, be sure to watch Lakefront TV and tune in to WQBQ 1410. This is Cindy Peterson reporting.